Weeks before linebacker Jovan Belcher killed Cassandra Perkins, he texted another girl that he would shoot Perkins if she didn't leave him alone. That's just one of the new details in a police report released today. Lindsay Shively read every word. Lindsay. Every word, Krista. Here they are, the dozens of pages detailing first town accounts and very disturbing details from people that witnessed everything that went on that day. Problems between Javon Belcher and the mother of his child, Cassandra Perkins, were no secret. Not only did Belcher receive help from chiefs counselors and staff, but he told Brittany Glass. Hey, sorry to cut you a break here. This dash cam video shows police finding Belcher passed out in front of Glass's apartment hours before the murder suicide. Police reports obtained by 41 Action News show Glass admitted she and Belcher had shared an intimate relationship since March. She was with Belcher drinking that night and said he was quiet. He had already told Glass that Cassandra Perkins had threatened to take all of his money and their child if they split up. That Perkins knew how to push his buttons and make him angry. Even texting Glass weeks ago that he would shoot Perkins if she didn't leave him alone. Glass thought it was a joke. December 1st, Belcher proved he meant it. Oh, yes, it was me. 911 tapes reveal Belcher's mother pleading with dispatchers for an ambulance. She later told police she heard Belcher and Cassandra Perkins arguing about one or both of them partying. She said they often fought over finances. Okay, they were arguing and he yeah, shot her. Yes, they was arguing. Then Belcher's mother heard several gunshots. She ran downstairs with the couple's baby and found Belcher kneeling next to Cassandra Perkins on the bathroom floor. He said he was sorry and kissed Cassandra's forehead before he ran to his mother. He said sorry again, kissed his mother and baby, and sped away in his Bentley. The medical examiner's report shows Cassandra Perkins' body was riddled with at least 10 bullet wounds on her neck, shoulders, chest, arms, and legs. When police arrived at his home, they found his gun in the bathroom sink above Cassandra's body, a black 40 caliber semi-automatic Springfield Armory handgun like this one. Belcher had another gun with him at Arrowhead when he pulled the trigger on himself in front of Coach Romeo Crennel and Scott Pioli. Coming up tonight at 6, more details from Romeo Crennel and Scott Pioli about those final moments at Arrowhead and a tattoo found on Belcher's body that may give us more insight into his final gesture. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.